in the ancient, forgotten hamlet of Rafe Avon, cloaked in the shadows of a spectral forest, an accursed citadel loomed, its towering spires piercing the heavens like skeletal fingers reaching for forbidden knowledge. Whispers of a curse, whispered only in hushed tones by the few locals who dared to linger, spoke of the malevolent entity known as the Abyssal Phantasm, a ghastly force that fed on the essence of the living, manifesting only when the moon shrouded itself in an unnatural, blood-red hue. The Citadel, ominously named the Ebon Keep, was a sprawling labyrinth of haunted corridors, each veiled in a timeless gloom that seemed to distort reality itself. The Forsaken Township, gripped by the inexorable dread cast by the Ebon Keep, had seen countless generations ensnared in the cyclical dance of unspeakable horror. Legend spoke of a forbidden grimoire, the Codex of Shadows, hidden within the cryptic catacombs beneath the accursed citadel, said to bind the very fabric of the abyssal phantasm's existence to the tortured souls of the town's denizens. The arrival of a group of intrepid explorers, drawn by the allure of macabre mysteries, heralded the resurgence of Wraithaven's darkest nightmares. Under the ethereal glow of the Blood Moon, they breached the spectral forest's veil and confronted the Ebon Keep's foreboding gates. The air clung to their skin like icy tendrils, foretelling the doom that awaited within. Once the adventurers crossed the accursed threshold, the very architecture of the Ebon Keep seemed to defy the laws of reality, twisting and contorting into nightmarish configurations that defied comprehension. Malevolent whispers echoed through the haunted halls, each step echoing with the dissonant harmonies of tortured spirits. The air grew thick with a palpable malevolence as the abyssal phantasm stirred, its formless shadow lurking just beyond the reach of sanity. As the explorers ventured deeper into the heart of the haunted citadel, they discovered forbidden chambers adorned with grotesque murals depicting the cyclical tragedies that had befallen Wraith even. Each mural foretold of the group's descent into madness, a prophetic tapestry woven in the threads of their own fears. A spectral fog clung to their every breath, and ghastly apparitions materialized, reliving the harrowing moments of their demise. The Codex of Shadows beckoned from the shadows, a tome bound in eldritch leather that seemed to pulse with another worldly heartbeat. Desperation fueled their pursuit of forbidden knowledge, and as they delved into the Codex's pages, the abyssal phantasm stirred, its form coalescing from the very darkness that permeated the cursed citadel. Reality itself unraveled as the explorers confronted the eldritch horror that lurked within the heart of Wraith even. The boundaries between nightmare and reality blurred, and the group found themselves ensnared in a malevolent embrace, their minds shackled to the eternal torment of the abyssal phantasm. The Ebon Key, now an unhallowed monument to unspeakable horrors, stood as a mausoleum of lost souls, forever echoing with the anguished wails of those who dared to seek the forbidden truths hidden within its accursed walls. The Blood Moon cast its baleful glow upon Wraith Avon, ensnaring the forsaken Hamlet in the perpetual dance of shadows, a haunting symphony of eternal damnation. <laughs>